Hi, congratulations on your new RV. We're really excited for you. Please make sure before you're signing that you bring the following items with you. If you're a cash buyer, please make sure that you bring a cashier's check, no personal checks at time of signing, or you may bring actual cash. If you're a finance customer, please make sure that you bring proof of insurance listing your specific lien holder. If you need that information, please call us ahead of time. Also, make sure that you bring all valid driver's license of all persons that will be listed on the title. If you have a trade that you're trading in with us, please make sure that you bring your 10-day payoff as well as your title and all persons who will be listed on the title of that trade. Um, arrive 30 minutes early before your appointment time so we can properly inspect your unit and also make sure that you have the fridge on and running prior to arrival. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call at 810-686-0710. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Jeff at Tradewinds RV Center. I am going to do your video walkthrough for your 08 Coyote. Just gonna start you off here in front. This is part of your convenience pack and your hitching. Um, Frank will show you that um, when you guys come to pick up. Um, your convenience pack consists of a water pressure regulator. Um, so whatever hose you guys have, I would recommend keeping that hooked up to your hose. Uh, basically regulates your pressure to about 40, 41 PSI. You do not want to just hook up a water hose, you will blow water lines out. Um, this is the sewer hose they give you. Um, it's not the best in the world, so I would definitely recommend using your 10% in the store on data purchase. Maybe getting a new one of those. This is going to be your 30 up adapter. That way you can plug into 110. Brand new 24 interstate battery. If you're not using your trailer for a week or so, I would definitely think about just probably disconnecting the battery because um, you do have a carbon monoxide detector inside that strictly runs off a 12 volt. So if you're not using it for any long period of time, I would just disconnect it. Two 20 pound propane tanks, these are completely filled up for you. Um, you will manually have to come over to the regulator and switch it over so it draws off the other one. Just an extension to your compartment. This is gonna be access to the back of the water heater. There will be two valves on the back of it for when you go to winterize. Those valves will only turn one other certain way. Um, that way nothing can get into the water heater. All your information right here, your VIN, weight, tire pressure, all that stuff's right here. Here you have your stabilizer jacks. Um, only for stabilizing, not for leveling. Um, you're either going to level with the front or you might have to pull onto some blocks to level yourself out, then bring the stabilizer jacks down. Have your water heater. This is gas and electric. So you want to put this in first. Screw that in. Hook up to your city water connection with that water pressure regulator. And it, it turned on the water, it'll start filling up. I always relieve this pressure by opening this up. Eventually, water will start coming out of here. When that happens, you know you're full and you're safe to light. You can either push it on in uh, a button inside for the gas, or there is a button down here for the electric side. This can be for your potable water or your fresh water tank. So, if you're at a park that doesn't have full hookup, this is where you would fill up. Strictly using the water pump. Cord. Outside shower. This is your dump station. Um, so you'll hook your sewer hose up there. The other part will go into the ground. I always pull the black first, which is right there. And then pull the gray. That way you're just cleaning out your sewer hose. Access to the back of the refrigerator. One time. Exhaust your furnace. Come on in. This thermostat right here will be for your furnace. 
got some switches there. Looks like that switch you have to turn on to activate the refrigerator. Fire extinguisher. This is going to be where all of your fuses and your breakers are. And it does look like if one of those fuses goes out, a red light will shine next to it. So it makes it pretty easy for you to know which one it is. Some more light switches. You will manually have to turn on the air. Come up here. Refrigerator is gas and electric. And you just go through the modes. So right now it's on auto. Looks like I got unplugged. Your freezer will get cold pretty fast, usually in about two hours. Your refrigerator takes a little longer. You're looking at about eight and a half to ten hours for the refrigerator to get to complete temperature. Um, so I would recommend maybe plugging it in and letting the fridge run on electric the night before that way you know it's going to be to your temperature and then maybe switch it over to gas before you leave for your trip your stove and your oven everything is manual light so you I recommend getting a grill lighter you just go to light and hold it in and pull light right up you will have to go to the coupler in the back of the stove to light there you will have to hold it in for the pilot once it lights, I usually let it warm up, let off, and then it turns right on. That's going to be your furnace. And that's going to be your carbon monoxide detector. And that's what I was telling you, it will draw, draw all the power out of your battery if you don't disconnect it. That runs strictly off a 12 volt. Um, when your battery dies, that'll start dying and start beeping at you. So, it'll kind of give you a warning. Looks like this turns into a bed. You just take the top off the poles. The table rests in between the two chairs and makes up the rest of the mattress and the cushions. TV antenna and your antenna booster. So when you push that button, a green light should come on. When you hook up your TV, just put it on air cable, do a channel search, and depending on where you're at, you should get anywhere from 18 to 20 channels. You just want to make sure that's on. GFI plug, just like in your bathroom at home, probably. It's going to be for your monitor panel. i will tell you all your levels. And that's going to be where you turn on your water pump if you're dry camping or do not have city water hooked up. And this will be for the water heater. 